Lads, what's going on, Gonfi? And today I'm going to bring you, as you can probably see from the title, a team of some of the best transfers from 2012 2013 season. Well, some of them may just be before the 2013 season, but you know what I mean. You're going to understand when you see this team. Uh, I just want to say a massive shout out to everyone who helped me build this team, you know, all on Twitter. Couldn't have done this, this without you. I mean, you all helped me so much to build these sort of teams. And I bring them to you and everyone seems to enjoy them. So, massive shout out. This guy who you're going to be seeing on the screen has won himself 50,000 coins. You lost should already know the deal by now. If you can drop me a comment and it, I think is a good enough team to build, you will, just like this guy that you've seen on the screen, win yourself 50,000 Ultimate Team Coins. It is that simple. Also, remember to drop me a like if you are enjoying this video. That will help me out a, a ton. But uh, yeah, lads, if you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable FUT coins to make teams just like this, check out FIFA Coin Traders. They're a fast, reliable service, and their link will be in the description. But uh, moving on, anyway, lads, we have got the team. And on our subs bench, you can see straight away we have got the likes of Schneider, brilliant, brilliant buy for Galatasaray, of course. Balotelli on fire for AC Milan. I mean, what is he scoring a goal every game? He even, he even got two for Italy the other day. We knew this guy was capable, he just needed some way to. A team to flourish, and that is what he's doing at AC Milan. We then got Mandzukic. Ah, oh, man. Little bastard managed to get himself a goal against us, or one of the vital goals as well. That was probably the goal to knock us out. But a uh, great player. Great buy for Croatia as well. Oh, great buy for Croatia. Great buy for uh, Bayern Munich, and a brilliant player for Croatia as well. Berbatov. Everyone knows about Berbatov. Always been doing it. Always been doing it. For Tottenham, he was doing it. For my United, he always was always showing touches of class. Got a few hat tricks as well at his time there. And for Fulham now, he's been scoring, been playing very, very well. And nobody wants to come up against Berbatov. He's just one of those little bastards who always got that touch of class. We then got Coutinho. Um, not too sure about him at the moment. A lot, of Liverpool, a lot of Liverpool fans are telling me he is absolutely insane. I think he scored two goals so far in five games, something like that. I'm not sure off the top of my head. But um, hopefully he can go on to be one of the better players in the Premier League. You know, a young Brazilian flair sort of talent. So I'll be interested to see how his career pans out. We then got Yilmaz, who... For Galatasaray this season has been, I mean, he's already got an inform, and people were saying he could have had another inform from one of his other performances. He has been brilliant this season, and Galatasaray have just proven how far they've got in the Champions League. If I've got any Galatasaray fans, let me know. That'll be interesting to know. But uh, shout out to them because they've been doing brilliant this season. And then we got Ben Teke, who he is just. He's, he's a cunt. Everyone knows Ben Teke. He is a little cunt. He always gets those vital goals all the time. I think he did it against, was it Man City or Man United? He got a vital goal. QPR, when they went 3-2, he got a vital goal. Oh, I can't forget the top of my head. I think against Everton, he got a vital goal. But he always picks up those important goals. And that's what, obviously, Aston Villa have got him in to do. He does the job perfectly. But now onto our starting eleven, lads. And obviously, some of you may not agree with some of these players in this team. If you do, let me don't let me know in who I should have put in. I know there's going to be a lot of players. I haven't missed players out. I probably know about them, but all these have been suggested to me from Twitter, and I've got some of them some of them off Google. So if there's a, a player I should have put in, let me know. Don't go mad and start clicking dislike buttons and shit. Just let me know, and uh, hopefully I can uh, maybe maybe tell you why I didn't put him in, or maybe I just completely forgot him. But on to the start 11 now, we have got in goal is Julio Cesar. Do you agree with me? Because I think this guy has been one of the best keepers in the Premier League this season. He has been insane. Got himself an inform, obviously, as well, which just proves he's doing the business at QPR. Keeping him in games, and he is, he's got to be top three keepers in the Premier League at the moment. On to our centre-backs, then we have got Jan Vertonghen. And I think it is Nastatic. Yeah, both two incredible defenders. I mean, we knew what Vertonghen was going to be like coming in from... Was it Ajax he came in from? Knows where the back of the net is, this guy. It is crazy. He just he seems to score goals wherever he is. And he's a centre-back. Did he score two for Tottenham the other day? I'm sure he did. Yeah, against Liverpool. I think he scored two. Which is just crazy for a centre-back. I think it was against Liverpool. But a great, great player. And then we've got... So, uh, actually, some of you Tottenham fans were telling me he's one of the best centre-backs Tottenham have bought in the last four years. So... Goes to show that's a great bite. And then that is turning in to be one of the best centre-backs. Probably going to be one of the best centre-backs in the world. He is one hell of a young talent. 19, 19 or 20 years of age. And he's just incredible. He's dubbed to be the next Vidic. Man City have got his spot on with this guy. And he is he's going to be definitely be one of the better centre-backs in the Premier League very, very soon. On to our right back now. We have got, I think it's is it Nathaniel or Nathan? Yeah, Nathaniel Klein. Um, brought in for very cheap, I think it was like 3 mil, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but uh, this guy for Southampton has been brilliant this season in my opinion, he has been doing it, Southampton have been struggling obviously, they, get, they were always going to be struggling coming up, but 
he is being one of their better players. It's him and who's, who's the left back as well? I know they got Luke Shaw. They got someone else too. Can't think of his name off the top of my head. Another black guy, but they've both been brilliant. I think Southampton. I hope they stay up this season. But there we go. On to our left back now. We have got Jordi Alba, and he's probably been one of the best boys in the whole transfer market for the last I don't know how many years. He has been incredible from the World Cup or was it the Euros? One of them. We knew he was going to be unbelievable. He played absolutely ridiculous for Spain. And we, we knew he was going to be the talent. And for, for Barcelona, he has been... He is next level. Or honestly, next level. I think he's been better than Marcelo this season. And Marcelo managed to get himself a team of the year. But there we go. But Jordi Alba got himself two informs already from left back. Which just shows you he's been incredible. And he is just an amazing, amazing player. I love him. I think he's great. On to our CDMs now. We have got... I think it's going to be Suzoko there. In from... Uh, was it Lille? I'm sure it was I can't think of something, man. I think it was Leo. And then we got poor Pogba. They actually, Juventus actually managed to get Pogba for free off my United, which is crazy. I mean, have you seen Pogba play for Juventus? I've seen him play and I've seen him score an absolute screamer. I'm hearing him being dubbed as one of the best midfielders in Juventus at the moment. That's how good he is. Dubbed to be one of the best young talents ever. In, in Syria football, apparently. I'm hearing big, big things about this guy. Unfortunately, he did get himself sent off the other day against Spain, which is a bit dodgy. I don't think it was a red card. But anyway, brilliant buy. Well, not even a buy. Brilliant get transfer for Juventus from Man United. And I think that's a big loss for Fergie. On to Musa Sizoko now. I mean, they did work this year in Newcastle. All you Newcastle fans were going crazy about him and other players on Twitter. And you lot, I think you've got a point because Newcastle went ham with the signings this season. Suzoko has been brilliant. As you can see, he's got himself an inform. He has been sick this season. And I think he's been one of the better boys in the Premier League. Definitely had to be in this team. On to our CAMs. Now, it is going to be, obviously, as an Arsenal fan, got to hold it down. Santi Cozola. And on the other side, it's going to be Marco Roos and Marco Royce or Roos, whatever you want to call him. And I think we can both agree. They have to be in this team, these two. Start off with Cozola. Almost forgot his name then. Um. What a player. Managed to bag himself two informs on FIFA already. And that just goes to show how good they're playing in real life. He has been incredible for Arsenal. One of the players who just gives me a bit of hope with Arsenal. Because they've just gone so downhill. We've actually brought someone in who's world class. I'm not I'm not actually sure about the fee we got him from. But he has just been... Uh, I think he, he should be Spain's number one midfielder. Just obviously he's not going to get over Iniesta and Xavi yet. But just in front, if they play, because they normally play with all, all out midfielders, no strikers, I think he has to be on that pitch. He has been incredible this season. Then moving on to Michael Royce, another absolute incredible, incredible player. I think he's got two informs, I think, in the left mid position, though, so I had to play him in his. I had to get his CAM card, but what a player, man. What, I haven't seen him play live too many times. I think I've seen him play once in the Champions League, and he even scored. But what a player, man. They're looking so deadly in the Champions League this year. Dortmund as well. And he was. He's definitely been one of the better boys. And up front, we have got Michu. And to complete the team, it is going to be Van Persie, obviously. As much as it kills me to say that, it is going to be Van Persie. Obviously, it is. It, if he doesn't score today, I think they're playing. Who are they playing today? Do, 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 do. Can't think off the top of my head. You'll all have to let me know. But if he doesn't score today... That is going to make it the longest streak he hasn't scored in Premier League football, which is crazy. Because when he first went to Man United, he was scoring hat-tricks. He, he even sat Arsenal down in his game, which obviously killed all us Arsenal fans. But, I mean, it killed me to see him go from Arsenal. He's one of the best strikers in the world. And it was an amazing buy for Man United. Got to take my hats off to him. And then on to possibly the best signing in the in the Premier League and maybe in the whole world. This, this year, it has been me too, man. Let's be honest. They got him for two mil, lads. Two Mill, that shit makes me sick. He is incredible. Can you imagine what he'd be like at an even bigger team? He'd be crazy. People are even telling me this guy should be starting for Spain now, which, I mean, come on, that is kind of a statement to be making. But what a player Michu is, and what a team this is. I mean, we've got some incredible transfer targets. A lot of them obviously are Premier League because you lot seem to leave me a load of Premier League players. But if you agree, leave it a thumbs up, you know, let me know if you're enjoying this and let me know if I should have maybe put some other players in there. But we're going to jump onto a live com now, lads, and see how these lot play, you know, play a little game with them. So, BRB. And we have our first game. It is against a 100 chem. I don't even know what sort of team that is. It's like African slash what? I think it's one side African, one side white boys. It's kind of a weird team that. But hopefully we can fuck him up. So let's go. Let's go. Oh, meet you, man. Actually, I wasn't even meet you. Who was that? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. 
Oh, the Tongan. Oh, what a tackle. Oh, my God. He came out of nowhere. Oh, what a save. What a save, says I, mate. Holding it down for me. That's what I'm saying. Oh, my God. Oh, my, my, my controller just actually disconnected. I'm done. And he still missed. That's lucky. Oh, Shizoko, stay on side, you black motherfucker. I'm black myself, lads. You know, don't take any offense to that. Ah, oh, my cock. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. I don't know what that was then. Oh, shit. I can't even play. Oh, my God. I don't even know what that was. That actually stacked. Fuck. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Um, what a save. Oh, my. What a fucking save. Oh, I'll meet you. It's nice to meet you, mate. It's nice to meet you, mate. It's nice to meet you, mate. Ah. Uh, what? Hold on. What the fuck's going on here? Oh, it's been sent off. What the fuck? He's just been sent off. What, what did he do? I didn't even see. Hold on a minute. I missed anyway, and he still snapped me. What an idiot. Right then. Santi Cozola steps over the free kick. He's got to score, really. He's got to score. Oh, Cozola. Pen! Yeah, boy! <laughs> He's giving as well. What? Send him off! Send him off! Oh, can you imagine he would have sent him off as well? in fucking class. Puts it in top corner. Boom! What a penalty as well, right in the roof of the net, mate. And the robot. A little bit of robot. Nah, ref, he played on you, little bullshitter. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. It's a good half, lads, you know. Not bad, not bad. Van Persie stepped up from the penalty. He was never going to miss. We all know that. But uh, if we can keep this 1-0, maybe make it 2-3-0, make him rage quit. Happy days. No! Oh my god. <laughs> my god. Whew, that was the longest night I've ever done. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, fucking no! He just lobbed you, says that man. Who the fuck is he? M. Connecti. Never heard of him. No way. No. Do you know what? I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna punch this referee in his head. That is not a penalty. He's just giving him a pen. Come on, says that man. I need you more than ever. Left or right, boys? What? Left? He's gonna go left. Fuck it. YOLO. We're going left. We're going left. Go on, mate. Put that ball left. Put that ball left. He's going left. I know he is. He's gone right. He's gone right. Cesar! What? Oh, what? I've gone the right way. Cesar's died past the football. I'm, I'm so done. I'm so done. Uh, we're going to need a big half, boys. We're going to need a huge half. I'm going to need you lot to have to come out. I've been battered. What the? F 24 shots, 15 on target. Two sex. Come on, boys. I'm going to need you more than ever now. Fuck. Oh, my God, ref. This referee has been fucking paid via tampons. The little bitch. Unlucky, boys. Unlucky, man. It was a great game. Lads, as usual, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up. I did manage to get my ass absolutely handed to me. Got battered. But it was a great team. It was a little bit of fun. If you've enjoyed, remember to leave it a thumbs up and drop me a comment below for a chance to win 50k. I'll speak to you next time, lads. Peace.